Hello, gamers of the internet. We're back with Dark Souls. The Dark Souls. Mastered. The time has come, and so have I. Again. At what are you last. doing? Oh. A long last. Oh, at long last. Get rid of your, your. Uh... Oh, sunlight blades. Oh, happy days. Oh, let's check them out. One use. Oh, it's gotta be powerful. It's right? gotta be good. Can we fry it now and just see what it does? We can. And then we just set it out the bonfire again. Ooh. Oh, <gasps> it's beautiful. Oh, it's a claymore. It's more beautiful than I ever imagined. Oh, praise the sun, oh. motherfuckers. Oh, I cannot wait to hit someone with this. Oh. I wonder how much more damage it actually does. So this is my main concern about the Great Artorias Sword. Can you do you can. this with it? Can you enchant it the Sunlight Blade? And if you can't, is it worth the trade? I think you can. Because if this does like a thousand damage per hit, I kind of don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> I doubt it's going to do a thousand damage. <laughs> okay, a bit of an exaggeration, but still. Look, it looks like an orange lightsaber. Really but yellow lightsaber. Even. Yellow lightsabers, I think, in Star Wars. Maybe not in the mainline films, but uh, read the comics and play the games. They're in it. They're in it. <laughs> Nazi or Republic, anyone? Voing, voing. Lasts for a long time as well. It it's still going, actually. Oh, oh there it goes. That lasts quite a while. Should we read the lore on this now that we've actually oh, yeah. got the equipment? Have we never it? read the lore on it? We might have done, but I can't remind myself because now we've got it. Yes. All right. Miracle World by Lord Gwyn's firstborn. Yeah, this is the badass son who wasn't named. Alright. Boost we right weapon yet? with rays of sun. The power of sunlight manifested as lightning is very effective against dragons. Oh, imagine if we use that against Seath. Oh, it would have been awesome. When the eldest son was stripped of his deific status, he left this on his father's coffin, perhaps as his final farewell. Oh. So are we official paladin now? We are officially I think a paladin. We officially got all the good faith things that we need, and now we need to put our specs in strength, vitality, and endurance. Yep. Finally, we've done it. Whoa! Ooh, and that another bonfire. It is indeed. That's right. This good. is this is really beautiful. This is really nice. This reminds me of the area in Breath of the Wild when you get the Master Sword. <laughs> yeah, there's no Master Sword to put out here though. This looks this looks nice. I like this. Although this I'll looks strangely peaceful. I get the birds too. Oh, I'm this not is used to this. Why is there like color in a Dark Souls game? This is almost like Shadow of the Colossus. Oh my god, what the fuck is this monstrosity? Wait a minute, you're you're not. You're <gasps> you can PC. talk to this. I talk in mushroom. We in Alice in Wonderland. Well, this one. From what far away age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed, but not intolerable. Ah. Princess Dusk, saviour. Thine aura is precisely as she described. Fine aura. Yeah, ladies and gents, Pedoris is a good guy. Maybe in this land. Hey, it's his paladic status, okay? Primeval human. Primeval human. Yes, I will. I will save your people. Thank you. I am Elizabeth, guardian of this sanctuary. Anything <laughs> goes in this world. To my utmost, for I am one with the sorcerers of all the seal. Oh God! Oh, cool! You're a vendor. Oh, there right. you go. What you, repair, repair powder yeah. repairs weapon equipped in right hand. Oh, cool! But I mean, we can just do it out of our bonfire, yeah. so it's fine. Whoa! What are these? Oh, these are intelligence. Damn! Cast light. Hidden body. Hidden weapon. Repair. Oh, these sounds kind of cool. Comedian. Is this like invisibility and light and all that shit? I guess so, for intelligence based things. Source through the lost land of Odysseus, transforming into something inconspicuous. Separate stealth spell from hidden bodies. A skilled stealth sorcerer must be aware of his or her surroundings of which objects are prime candidates for imitation. Oh. I see, so you transform. And um, this is a catalyst, so yeah, it's intelligence based. Yeah. Ah, uh, I wonder if we get a cool ass faith vendor or something. Maybe. I shall see further on. An abyss was begat of the ancient beast and threatens to swallow the whole Damn. Oh, High shit. stakes. Artorius came to oh, Artorius. But such a hero has nearly a murmur of dark. Without doubt, he will be swallowed by the abyss. 
But he's got his ring, right? Oh, wait, we got the ring. Hang on a minute, isn't Taurus dead? Yeah, we killed him. We didn't kill him. No, we didn't kill him, we killed his dog. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, she's the same thing. Yeah. Alright, cool. So the tourist still alive? No, the tourist is dead. We saw his grave. No, the thing... Okay, may maybe she just said our tourist did come here. He did and now come he's here. Dead. Okay, and sure, dead. whatever. Yeah, makes sense. The way she said it implied that he was still alive, or maybe I'm just going crazy, I don't know. Well, that would be really cool if we fight our tourist. But... Mate, if we fight our... Well, oh, it's, it's DLC. We fought Ludwig in Bloodborne. That's true. And that was a fucking best fight in that game, so... I don't know, man. That's true. Might Why would be. we fight the hero? But Ben Ludwig was the hero, wasn't he, in Bloodborne? Mm, I guess he was, yeah. He oh. was like the big badass of the healing church hunters. True. And the Ludwig's holy blade was a power imitation of his blade, which was the Moonlight Blade. Yeah. The Holy Moonlight Blade, even. Huh. That's what it's called. Weird. Maybe... maybe... I don't know. We'll see. We'll oh, see. mate, if Arturus is alive and will we fight him in this game, then I'm going to be fucking hype. Oh, maybe. I'll actually be really excited. But I think we saw his grave, though. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. stealth. Oh. Um. Well, we're not in Turgeon space, so... Yeah. What do you mean you need stealth? Oh, these guys are going to shoot me, aren't they? Run. <laughs> Wait, what is that music? Oh, it would. It's like we're in an enchanted dirt, like an in, like Alice in Wonderland. Whoa. I've got pitchforks. What? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I do believe you fell on your face. Oh, oh we do not no damage. No. They do no damage. Oh, okay. That's all right. Oh, yeah. It's fitting again here. It is. So this is it yeah, this, like this is a brand new land. So back in Lordran, Pedonus was known as Pedonus the Wretched, but this is a new place where he can hopefully build a better name for himself. Oh hopefully. What is that thing? Whoa. So you're saying Pedonius is trying to outrun his sins. Again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He'll go to any land to try and save people there and hopefully not. Fuck more yeah, like he usually does. He's a multi Pedonius now a multiverse traverser. Oh we fuck god. shit up without <laughs> meaning to. Don't you turn your back on me? Oh my god, this guy's strong. Well then, let's give this a test. Oh. Okay, yeah, let's do it. I missed. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, that does a lot of damage. Two-handed. Oh shit! You got too cocky. I didn't get cocky. I I'm mean, just experimenting. Uh, so, one, one. Damn. Okay, so the the little guys, the mooks, they die very much more quicker than those big dudes. Dude, they are, they're just strong. They are. Those are strong stone what? golems. Oh, I lit it. I didn't rest on it. Fuck. Oh, Damn it. We'll oh, see wait, you guys wait, wait. back at the bonfire. Well, to be fair, it's like literally just through this room. Yeah, true. Not through the lake. I had to wait through it. Wait two minutes. Yeah. It's, it's like a minute. No, it's not even a minute. 30 seconds. Damn, we put this water here. They're using that as yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Like places to lure it. Mm-hmm. Small traps. Mm-hmm. This feels like Addison Wonderland. A blade, a blade. If we, fight, blade. if we fight a giant bunny, that's what it is. Oh my god, that'd be awesome. Fight a big giant demon bunny. I'll be up for that. I wouldn't put it past Dark Souls. No, but you know what? This this does feel like a light version, like a light type, like you know, like daytime version of the uh, place that you climbed the ladder up in. The other yeah. Place. Do you know what I mean? Like the forest scene, similar. Oh, I really hope we fight our tourists. Ah, uh, 
because he sounds like a like a badass normal kind of like Soler, whereas Gren's like a deity brought upon the age of fire. Yeah. But I want to fight like a you know a human. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, like a like, a, bad, love, like, like a hero. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like Ludwig from Bloodborne. Yeah. You 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 definitely you're prefer the dueling fights, don't you? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Well, without hopefully without being like the 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 um the berserk horse. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're just the best kind of fights because they're so personal as well. Oh, I love it. I love fighting someone who's on equal grounds of you. Yeah. It's like, yes, come on, we're both at full strength. Let's fight like gentlemen and see who's better. Like, it's a, it's a fair fight. Yeah. Those are the best kinds of fights. Now come, I will heal your wounds. Face me at full strength. <laughs> Yeah, those are the best kinds of fights. Yeah. Oh, shit. I love bosses who fight with honor. It's like, I remember when I was a young lad, and I played Final Fantasy 3, and you yeah. fight the full fiend who's fire. I think his name is Ruby Kante. Mm. And he actually heals your wounds after you've like gone through a big dungeon to fight a boss. Oh, yeah, I remember Cause that. Because he just wants you to fight him at full strength. And he's like, yes, this guy is awesome. Let's fucking go. Yeah. And it's just a really cool moment, because no boss has done that in Final Fantasy. Not since. Like, so, not so far. I no, don't know about one since, but, like, you know, before Final Fantasy 3, at least. I don't know if any other bosses have done that, like, healed you before a big fight. Like, you've had save points before big fights that heal you. But maybe 3 seems like, the only one I know that's actually got... I don't know, it's been a while. Have fun playing a Shimmy Guy Tensei game. Oh, well, actually, no, that's not true. I think Strange Journey here was before a fight. You have your the, the choice to. Yeah, Nocturne yeah. doesn't. What? No. you got to go through a big, giant, big, fat dungeon. You get your save point, but you don't get healing. I can't remember I told you. They're, they're thinking about remaking Nocturne. Or... I heard about all that, and oh my god, if they do, I... Oh my god, there's two of them. I will be very happy and excited. But, like, if they remake it, do you think they'll dumb it down? I don't know, that's also what I'm scared of. I don't want to remix the music as well, because the music in Nocturne is perfect. Uh, One more god rejected. Well, they would have to ha update the music to, like, HD. Yeah. I don't want a HD, like, remake. Well, that's what you'd get. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you went, I was like, he's going to do a big attack, isn't he? Yeah, he lifted up the fucking ground. What yeah. the fuck? Right, launch attack's the way to go with these guys. Makes sense, they're big rock monsters. Step back, then step forward. Yeah, I'll be up for a remake of Nocturne. Hmm. But I doubt it'll compare to the original game. Because that, 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 that game is an experience. Is like, oh, there we go. That's a, that's a missing part of my SMT, along with Persona 1 and 2. Nocturne is an experience. It's got one of the best atmospheres in gaming, next to Bloodborne, in my opinion. Damn. Yes, it is that good. In, in my video games, it's the big three for me. Story, gameplay, but the de facto number one for me is atmosphere. Atmosphere, that's right. And I'm Dark sure. Souls has got it. I'm loving the atmosphere in this game. Bloodborne's atmosphere is nigh on perfect, and Nocturne's has my favorite atmosphere in any video game ever. Damn. Because it's the music, it's the area, it's what's going on. Just like that tense kind of like environment that it creates and just, it just it, it just gets me immersed i just don't think i'll be able to have nocturne it just sounds so challenging it's not it's not by smt stands it's not the hardest most definitely not it's a tough rpg most you, definitely you completed strange journey right where would you rate strange journey up? i say strange journey is actually slightly harder than nocturne for me I, well the dungeons are harder yeah. I'd, I'd say the fights are um on par of nocturne but the dungeons are actually harder Harder is in like, oh my god, this fucking ass conveyor belt. Oh, and I fucking hate it. Has pitfalls as well. Nocturne has that too. I need to get back to that game. Nocturne has pitfalls. Taking such a detour from it. Oh, the dungeon crawling. But at least the dungeon crawling in Nocturne is kind of like bearable. Yeah. Well, it has it has its moment, so it's like, oh, I fell through a pit. Well, fuck, I'll go all the way back. Yeah. By SMT Strange Journey, you'll be going through a dungeon for like an hour. And then you go for a pit bull and suddenly you're all the way right at the back and it's like, what? Oh, no! No, no. That's, that's what kind of like, killed my bus for it. Yeah, I know what you mean. No, you, just, you just want to switch the game. Yeah, whereas Nocturne's while it's hard, it's more enjoyable. 
Like you can be a tough game but still be enjoyable at the I'm same always, time. I'm always I'm always more for like, the, like third person camera perspective. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. Than like the first person like dungeon falls. Yeah. Like I I kinda like seeing my guy. Yeah. To be honest. Even though being first person in a way is a little bit slightly more immersive. But the thing with Strange Journey is that it's done by a grid. You press yeah. a button and you go eh. Eh, yeah, eh, eh. you don't like have full control almost. No. Whereas in Nocturne, it's like this: there's one guy yeah. round about. Oh, random battles are a thing. Oh, yeah, you love that kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> and they are frequent in Nocturne. That game will keep you on your toes. It's all about MP I HP doubt, management. I doubt they would uh, keep the random battles if they remade it. Oh, they they need to. Otherwise, people will rage. Oh, or they'll probably have like a way to turn it on and off. Yeah, I feel like they would do it like. I'll be cool with Modern that. day standards on there would not really have that random battles. Pfft, modern casuals. Day. Modern day RPGs, you know, they, people like to see the enemy before they enter it. Filthy casuals. Oh, I kind of prefer that though. Nah, freaking scrubs. <laughs> I prefer <laughs> seeing my enemies. Like, nah, if you're gonna make a if you're gonna make a remake or remaster, it's got to be very, 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 very accurate to the source material. Otherwise, people are gonna hate it. It's like with Spyro and Crash. Uh, those games are like basically exact. Okay, I can't say speak for Spyro, but I've no interviews saying it's got to be exactly like the original Spyro. But Crash is exactly like the original, uh, except, except for, for the, like the you know tickets. mobility. Yeah, yeah. I, I know, but oh, that's only like a slight kind of like adjustment. Yeah, but that's for adjustment for the better. But like... I agree with you in the fact that it can make slice of life kind of like adjustments. Like oh, you can choose to have like enemies on screen or have a random battle. Yeah. Or you. For those who really want that like hardcore definitive Nocturne experience. Well, I wonder if... I, I, I don't think... I, I don't know. I think SMT5 will not have random battles. Mm, I, I just, wonder. I don't know. I, SMT4 did. Yeah, I, just, I don't think they'll go back to it. I think I liked the way of mean enemies in SMT4 the most. There was a bunch of random enemies all over the place, but yeah. you can still run away and choose whether to fight them or not. I didn't actually mind that so bad. Yeah, Dragon Quest is the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I will agree, those are the best kinds of RPGs, but they can't change Nocturne from what it already is, oh my you God. know. Well, that's we just still, me, we've but... still got to wait for SMT5 first before they do anything. Because I love that, that game, that and they do do random enemies, I'll rage because I'm a hardcore, biased asshole. And if you change my original OG stuff, then I'm going to be angry. <laughs> but you have the original game still. I know, I do. But HD. Oh my god. Woo. I'm petty like that. <laughs> I'm surprised we've been talking about all these RPGs about dying. This woodland's hard. Yeah, it is. I've been taking a bit of a detour. Oh, damn. damn. Maybe I should just not fight these guys. They are quite tough, aren't they? They don't go down easy. Oh, I miss timing my dodges to it. And they do that and they use up so much of our esters. Bad move. Oh man. Come on, do something. Cut him down. Show him your Fuck. lumberjacking skills. It's always a big wind up attacks. Show him the lumberjacking skills. Yeah. And now. The giant shuffle. Shit, we're out of miracle. I, uh, I mean, you barely get any souls from me, but I probably shouldn't find oh, those guys. Them, They're not really worth it, are they? No. Well, we've learned. Where and learning the hard way is the worst, the best way. I guess we follow the lights. I feel like the lights show you the way. Oh no, they're not lights. Like right. So when you work in retail and you get the, you get yelled at. That's not a nice way to learn. Mm -hmm. I speak from personal experience. If you are wondering. <laughs> oh God. You don't get taught, and you're like, all right, do this, and then you get it wrong, and it's like, no, one, yeah. what are you doing, Bam Ben? But you didn't teach me how to do it. Oh, uh, no. Me. This reminds me a little bit of the Dark Root Forest. I told you, it's like a colour palette swap. Is this an alternate dimension? So, a little bit like the old Hunters, because that kind of was as well, wasn't Wait, it? Where you that? went to the healing church, and that was all, like, fucked up with trees and stuff. Yeah, it kind of is. Reminds me of it a little bit. Guardian gauntlets. Mm -hmm. Imminent holding with both hands. Guardian gauntlets. Oh wow, they're actually the same as Hayward's gauntlets. Oh. They're slightly better. Oh. 
Gorms are stone knights, guardians of the forest sanctuary. The stone knights are golems animated by magic, and their enchanted gauntlets are oppressively heavy. I think we should equip that. They're, they're lighter than Hayward. It is lighter them. too. Wait. Does that mean? <gasps> what? What? Because I want to take this robe off because it looks kind of dumb. Oh, the okay. scabbard just gets obscured by it. Yay! Hey. We're back to normal rolls. Oh, I do prefer the look of Hayward's gauntlets though. The chains just look cool and that's... Yeah. Oh, that's an elevator, but we haven't found a switch yet. Is it a lift? Oh, someone's trying to jump down now through a blood pile. <laughs> yeah, I think they, I think you're probably right. It's probably someone attempting it and failing miserably. This place is big. It's huge. Oh, well, more enemies over there. So we haven't been here before. It is. It's like a pallet swap of the Dark Root Forest. It is actually, yeah, it just looks like a reused version of the Dark Root Garden. I wonder if that's to do with, like, some specific lore or something. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Or to crank out the DLC really fast. No, I'm joking. Oh, easy tiger. I'm joking. Oh, wait, what's <laughs> that? Flowers. Oh. Oh, they're really pretty. I'm in man, you flowers. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. It, it does seem like a pallet swap. Which is different. Oh, oh, thank you, eye frames. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> oh. oh. Get the eye on the run. Get the eye on the run. Get the eye on the run. Guardian leggings. Thanks. Don't run. I've got no more just flux. Shit. Oh dear. This could pose a problem. Wait, there's the bridge there. Got no healing either. Are we running back? Oh my lord! Uh, can you uh, can you get out of the way, please? Thank you. What? <laughs> that was a. Fuck. That was a dragon. Why is there a dragon here? Well, it's medieval times. Makes sense. What? It's fine. We've we've got means to kill dragons, so I'm not too scared of it. Fuck. No. It's gonna commit. There we go. Oh, we got chunks. We got tip that chunks. Chunks. Big healthy chunks. What's with the floor here? It's really weird. Okay, what did this? Bonfire, please. Oh my god, hedge clippers? Oh. What? <laughs> What's with the pitchforks and hedge clippers? This is a fucking army of gardeners. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You're wrecking our garden, Pladonius! <laughs> no, I'm not. Get off our lawn! <laughs> you damn kids. <laughs> Maybe they're old people. Oh, fuck. Damn teenagers. I don't want to attempt. No. Oh, fuck, I can jump it. Oh, you're going to... Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm so lost. Such a big area. Oh, we missed it. It's up top now. Mm. Just run up it. Oh! 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 That was a bit too close, to my liking. Whew, We're getting all the guardian man. stuff. Okay. Right. What do the leggings look like? Will the leggings be good? Guardian leggings, guardian leggings, guardian leggings, guardian leggings. Guardian leggings, they're quite good. 10.4 compared to our. Uh, 9.2. Oh, I'll keep the black eye. Yeah. It's fine. I think this is definitely the best look we've had for Pladonius. Yeah, it is. It looks good with the. Gotta go with what you armor. enjoy. Yeah. And fashion souls. Indeed. The true metal. The true metal of the game. Looking good while you kill. Oh, yes. Most definitely. This forest is huge. Massive. It really is a massive forest though. I feel like they've just Oh. Like it just seems to me like they've put the, the forest down and they've just made it bigger and then they've just I don't know. Probably put like different assets to it. Yeah. We got the guardian armor. Well that'll look good on us. 
Wait, cause there's the abyss over there, down there. Or am I going crazy? It's in there. Like, that's where we fall the Hydra, right? Is it? No, it can't be. Oh, uh, this is a different goes great arrow. I think we've got the entire Guardian set. Nice. Cool, well, I'm gonna take my leave. We've gotta fight that dragon or something as well. Cool, I'm looking forward to it. Take it down with us on that lane. <laughs> How do we get there? There's nine over there, but this bastard's in the way. How do we get to me it? As well. Yeah. Oh no, I always come back to it. Yeah, that's true. You know, when I've got healing items. <laughs> oh yeah, we're out of We've got nothing. <laughs> I've got nothing. This is just exploring before my imminent death. <laughs> hey, you never know. You might come across a bonfire. Oh, hopefully. That would be very nice if I did come across one. Oh. Elizabeth's mushroom. What's that? It's Elizabeth mushroom. Is it oh, it's for Elizabeth the mushroom, obviously. Gray restores HP for a limited duration. Oh, right, okay. Large medical medicinal mushroom of Elizabeth. Keep it the sanctuary. Eating this mushroom invigorates the flesh and greatly restores HP for a limited duration. Its dramatic effect can make the difference between the war's life and death. So it's a regen mushroom. Hmm. Or maybe it just makes healing items better. Or oh. healing, like, techniques better. That would be good for our heal because it only recovers half our health oh, with what maybe. we've got. We haven't found any better talismans. No. And we can't. I've learned that we actually can't upgrade talismans either. Bollocks. Yeah, we've we've got to keep what we got, unfortunately. Well, we're using. Um... Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! God, my heart actually skipped. <laughs> Where are we going? I'd go with this. Bonfire! Like I doubt there's gonna be a bonfire. Maybe I... now I'm the one with low faith. Maybe the one with the. Uh... Maybe in those creepy ruins over there. Probably. The hedge creepers. Fucking get off our lawn. <laughs> Mine have got like floor buffers and shit. <laughs> Mo, you know what next is going to happen? You're going to hear the lawnmower. <laughs> You're going to just hear someone riding a lawnmower coming at you. Like rakes and shit. Our grounds keep really... Oh my they god. They like to rake your acquaintance. Oh my god. I'm going to get this item in case I do... Be an untimely demise. It kind of sucks that you died to a bunch of lawnmower equipment. It's all a brave warrior. This is such a weird enemy design. It's like, we need to give them weapons. <laughs> what should we give them? I know! Hedge clippers and fucking pitchforks. Are they like tree caretakers? The forest? Maybe they're guardians of the forest, so they have to look after it, right? They like this world's version of the hedge monsters. Try <laughs> chance. Maybe. I wonder. Like humanized versions. Shall we just go and see what's over there since they're gonna die anyway? They are actually clipping the trees! Oh my god! <laughs> they're actually taking care of the garden. We've got a gold coin. We're killing gardeners! Yeah, looks like it. That's an atrocity. Self defense. Okay. I hope. Oh shit. I'm gonna see what's over here before I die because it's gonna come very, very soon. Run, 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 run. Yeah. Oh, maybe there's, <laughs> maybe there's something in there. What's that? It looks like a cool Colosseum. Maybe there's something in there like a bonfire. Oh shit. Oh! Oh, go down! No! <laughs> Let's hope I can catch up with it. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Well, at least we oh, know where God. there's a lift. That's five, right? It's, uh, yeah, it's five. Damn it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. <coughs> You're right, Ben. Yeah. We got a piece of your medicinal herb. If there's anything I can do. No. No. Nah, she doesn't nah, react to it. to it. Might as well equip it, just in case we do need it. Alright. Like I said, it's a matter of life and death. <laughs> That's so funny. I can't believe they're fucking clipping the, the fucking trees. That's quite hilarious. They're actually like mangled up demon tree so, gardens. Wow. I, I dig it. <laughs> it's quite it's quite something. It's different. That is very different. We'll see you guys back at the lift.
Way of life. Royal wood. Oh, it really is a royal wood, and they've got hedge clip and yeah. three things looking after it. So strange. They shouldn't really get aggro by us then, though. Okay. Intruder! Intruder! Stop stepping on the flowers, you fuck. Man, if play don't, it's not really committing us in here, because I feel like it is. Everything we do, we're going to judge it like, is Pedonius committing a sin? No, oh, I don't know. I don't know, because, like, we kind of just come to this world and... No, this ain't the way. Well, there's a, there's a beast that's threatening this land. We've come to slay it. Then why are these guys... Like... Unless the NPC is pure evil and it's Oh, us. my God. You never know, Dark Souls. He is an evil talking mushroom. Oh, God, no! <laughs> I, I think I know what this is. And there go my souls. Oh, fuck. fuck. <laughs> How many were shit? <laughs> the way you fell down there was so goofy. <laughs> fuck. I was not expecting the big guy to come inside the enclosed space. Shit. <laughs> that was so goofy the way you fell down. I was like, no! As soon as I say anything goes in dark, so it's that happens. Like, yep. It's like you were swimming to your death. <laughs> Front crawl, straight plant, uh, face plant, straight into the concrete. Fuck. Oh, I had quite a few souls. I'd well. give that dive a 9.5. <laughs> Be the best swimming judge. Good landing. Yep. Truly solid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good nose dive there. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Um, it's like in too deep's music video. <laughs> Got to jump in the water after as well. Where is this freaking? Oh, there's an item down there. There is. How is I got to find the quick way because before I came here, I was or well, before I found the way to go, I was running around in circles. So. Oh shit. Yeah, not keeping a good idea on where actually I need to go. Oh. Well, no diving down there ain't right. So yeah, it's ain't right away. Oh, it's over there. Look, that's a cool thing. There's a Colosseum. What structure that resembles a Colosseum. Oh, it's over there. No, oh, but There's an item behind it. At least you know where to go. Alright. It's quite far away then. Oh, you had to cross that bridge where that dragon was. Yeah. Oh. Makes sense. I wonder why that dragon just like crossed the bridge and then flew off. Because it's for spectacle, isn't it? Game's yeah. like, hey, guess what? We got dragons in this DLC, but you can't wait to fight these things, and it flies off. Yeah. Plus, it makes for a cool moment. It does. I wonder if I could have killed it on the bridge. I wonder. They just look at me, and I just slay it there and then. That would have been hilarious. Like, get out of my face. <laughs> Play Darius has rid us of the dragon. Yep. Oh yeah, he jumped across here, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the weird purple colouring thing. What is that? I don't even know. Yeah, hedge clippers. I can fight these guys now. I say as I get my, my finger chopped what off by that? hedge clippers. Bleed? Is that bleed? That's definitely bleed, yeah. Makes sense, hedge clippers do hurt. <laughs> they do. <laughs> speak from experience, Ben. No, I can't say I've uh, ever clipped myself on hedge clippers. Oh no. Oh no. Don't die here, please. Thank you. God. I died here. <laughs> Go on. God dear. I'm a bit worried about that drink count. Oh. Mm. A sword should have no problem taking down hedge clippers, you would think, but. A surprisingly quick. Those they, hedge clippers. They make sense. They've been gardening their whole lives, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Training the arts of gardening martial arts. Oh my god, gardening martial arts. Garden food. Garden food. I don't know. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> oh shit. Die, please. Have they got watering cans? Oh my god. What are these enemies? Where, where are we? This is a really weird area, man. We're not in Kansas anymore. We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> no rainbow here. Fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, somehow this area seems like the brightest area. What is that? Oh, it's a titanite thing. 
That's just a tier 9 thing. I don't want it. Just want to avoid being stabbed in the back by pitchforks. Oh. There we go, got it. Oh god. Oh shit, run. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I got hit mid jump and I just slid across the floor. <laughs> I fear for that drink counter. Ow. <laughs> I fear for that drink counter. Fuck. Oh, I fear. I fear.